Sagittarius, hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you March mid-month 2020, baby. Uh, Sagittarius, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, awesome sauce. Thank you. Your love tokens. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Uh, cross watchers, I am a snitch. Absolutely. This is Sagittarius Reed. And um, if you're cross watching, I'm not judging. Just please don't curse me in the comments. I love you too, but this is Sagittarius Reed. Okay. Uh, guys, everything is pre shuffled and upright. Oracles are preset. I do not read from the floor. Um, if it comes out reversed on a clarify, though, I will read it as such. Okay. Uh, let's get started. Pre-shuffle energy was a kind of weird. I'm not kidding. Weird. I don't even know where to begin. I, I just, I, I've, I was feeling good. I'm rejuvenated. I'm getting some work done. Um, I had some good rest. And then all of a sudden, I was exhausted. Like, I literally just sat here struggling to shuffle. Um, so guys, if you're feeling like this, I just truly want you to get some rest, get some rest. Cause oh my goodness, I never in my life <laughs> was so tired. Like I just wanted to sleep at the table. I literally could have just went to sleep right here. Um, but you have, uh, something going on. You have a new venture. Okay. A new possibility, new prospect. Um, new idea, new new grounding, new foundation, something to do with uh, home or, or work, okay? Uh, Ace of Pentacles uh, came out on the pre-shuffle. Now, uh, the Ace of Pentacles moved into uh, full energy. Now, this is uh, that leap of faith, of course, uh, you know, uh, blind... Um, journeys, blind travels, you know, uncharted territory, okay, um, leading to uh, two of pentacles, juggling um, air energy, you know, even though it is pentacles, it is uh, indecisive, so it can lead to a little bit of Libra energy. Um, bottom of your deck, when your oracles stand your ground, you know, it, uh, guys, I'm... I'm let me just say this. I feel like some of you are, some of you have made a choice and realized it was the wrong one. Okay. But you had to do it because you know what you want from this life. And, um, how can that be wrong? You know, how can that be wrong? When you know what you want, you know what you want to accomplish. You freaking go for it. That's who you are. Okay. Period. You know, but honestly, I think some of you now are having second thoughts. Um, but you're standing your ground. You're believing in your promise, which is awesome sauce. Um, believe it or not, stand your ground. This Oracle card came out for Leo and Aries also. Um, so it looks like fire right now is literally spiritually standing on the promise of, you know, of your maker. And... I just, uh, I want to commend you for that. Okay. I believe absolutely. Um, faith is powerful. It really is. It's powerful. Uh, you know what you want. I think that, um, you're going to get it. I think that, um, somebody definitely messed around with you, played with your emotions or whatever, to a point that when they came back sincere, now you're like, look, I'm moving on. And it's just been a lot of that. The only thing that I think that's going to cause a problem in your read or concern rather in your read today is what's undermining you is intuition. This is um, high priestess energy trust you're not trusting your intuition you're not you're not trusting that little voice inside you're not listening to it you, okay you hear it you just like you know you know what you want because the sacral chakra is crowning your read you know what you want and even though your intuition might be saying one thing you're like you know what 
this is what I want. I'm going to go for it. Center energy is new beginnings. That's a full energy, that leap of faith. You're, this is you going for it, coming from memories of love. You understand? Emotional energy, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, an emotional state in your life, maybe you're coming from an emotional uh, 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 nostalgia. This is nostalgia. This is like my nostalgia card. You know, this is when that song came on and you remembered that person or you ran into somebody that reminded you of something. You understand? Moving towards mental energy, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heartache and loss. Okay? So... The only reason why I say that some of you may have made the wrong choice is because of this heartache and loss that you're moving into. But again, it's in your mind. So it just may not be, it may not be in the physical realm. You might be doing the right thing for you. Absolutely. Because you know what you want and you're going for it. Because you know what you had before. You know what you felt. You know what I mean? And you know you didn't like it. Okay? So... If in your mind towards the future, you might be feeling, you know, like, uh, did I do the right thing? You know, was, is this, you know, is this going to work? You know, we'll find out. We'll do some clarifiers and definitely get some more information on that. Um, but that's what I got from your pre-shuffle energy. Okay, guys. Memories of love. Let's start with the past. Memories of love. Tell me about the memories of love for Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Hangman energy. A new perspective, a different view. Um, you know, the hangman, though, doesn't move. You know, this is a standstill energy. Okay, so maybe you're coming from a point of, you know, let me just stop and think. Okay, but remember, memories of love, like I said, is that nostalgia, uh, like maybe something stopped you in your tracks and said, and you just took a, another look, you know, you took another look, maybe the leap of faith is you going back to or trying out something, you know, that you already had before it, you know, that didn't work, but you took this leap of faith and now you're regretting that decision, you know, but I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. Hold on. Tell me about the hangman energy for Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Look, two of pentacles again. Again. Guys, look. See? I'm telling you. Juggling. Um, indecisive. Not sure. Uh, feeling stuck. Maybe procrastinating. Somebody stopped you in your tracks or something stopped you in your tracks to where as though you didn't have that same confidence you normally always have about something that you did or a decision that you made or it's affecting a, a decision you need to make. You know what I'm saying? Tell me more about this two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Thank you. Ooh, did they change? Death energy, scorpion energy, that's transition. So maybe they change and you're considering going back. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Wow, they're not holding back emotion no more. They're opening up. They're, they're communicating, wanting to share. Damn, new beginnings. Wow. Ooh, Herman energy reverse. Now, who is this? Hold on. This is clarifying this fool. Virgo energy. They're outside of... Somebody's outside of their comfort zone like a mother lover. A mother lover. They're really outside of their comfort zone. The hermit is happy alone and content. Um, they understand their, their, their journey. They've uh, grown wise and mature. Through their trials. You understand? Coming out in the reverse though. That means that they're coming out of that shell. They're coming out of that. Um, separation. And, and segregation from the world. And rejoining. Society. That as a leap. Maybe that's a leap of faith. 
Wow. Tell me about this Hermit Reverse. Hermit Reverse, please, Sagittarius Energy. Hermit Reverse for Sagittarius. Hermit Reverse, please. Oh, come on. You ain't got to do that. Ten of Cups. Five of Wands Reverse. Yeah, they want to be happy. They don't want to fight. Somebody doesn't want to fight. They just want to be happy. You or somebody in your energy is taking a leap of faith, trying something different outside of their norm because they want to be happy. They don't want no more conflict, no more drama, no more nothing. You or them. Why is intuition undermining this read? If it's, why is intuition? Intuition. Thank you. No progress. Eight of Wands. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. Thank you. Ace of Cups reverse. Lack of emotion. Oh. Lack of the display of emotion. Tell me more. Tell me more. Can I have one? That's what's throwing your intuition off, the lack of display. They're not doing what, uh, hold on, yeah, okay, so five of cups reverse. Now listen, the intuition is undermining your read, so somebody, it's throwing you, it's, uh, I'm going too fast, hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, somebody has changed, okay? You know they've changed. So now you're consider you're reconsidering uh revisiting that uh, that part of your life or that uh, in a, a relationship or that connect um Yeah, that's what I want to say. That connect uh even though your intuition told you how they were before it seems like now it's not, it's not picking, you're not tapping in or they, it's not, you're not getting the same, uh, uh, spidey senses. You, you know what I'm saying? Your spidey senses kicked in before and that's how you found out the things that you found out. However, now they've changed. So your spidey senses aren't tingling like they used to, you know, or they are, and you're not listening to them because their actions are not uh, supportive of who they are because they seems like they changed. So when you're looking at who they are today, and even though they changed, you know they changed. They still they're not moving around like they used to. Okay, they're now showing emotion, and they didn't do that before. They're now optimistic and, and, and um, saying the right things instead of, you know, being pessimistic and wanting to fight. Don't nobody want to fight no more. You or them. Remember, this is uh, energy, guys, and it's not uh, gender specific. So you have to take what resonates. And I'm going to try to give it to you as I can, but it's coming out in a clusterfuck, to be honest. I'm sorry, excuse my French, but this is just, whew, okay. Um, um, it's kind of like, it's coming as, it's not the, it's not a mixed storyline. It's the same storyline, but it's different state. You're in different, okay, that's what it is. God darn, why was that so hard? Sagittarius, listen, guys, you're in different stages of your, your process, okay? I need all of you to bear with me because I'm going to try to give it to everybody. So if I'm saying something and you're saying, I went through that last week or I don't know what you're talking about, it's because you're in different stages. So just bear with me. Everybody's um, hangman stage is different. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. However, collectively, you had a relationship. The relationship didn't work. It was a bunch of bull crap. Uh, you moved on. That is collective. Okay. Now, um, 
Past energy is coming up that something happens in, in the form of nostalgia that makes you remember this person. You run into them, somebody mentions them, you hear a song, you know, whatever the case is, okay? And so it makes you uh, think about this person. Dag, I ain't talked to him in a long time, or I haven't seen her in a long time. I wonder how they doing. Whatever it is, the thought process comes through your mind, um, uh, and you... Uh, either who you're talking to or, or who you're running into, or even if you're running directly into them, it kind of throws you for a loop because you see that they've changed. You understand? And it's uh, they are showing you obvious signs of change. You have proof of change. It's not even something that somebody's saying. You have proof of it. So, it, you know, you're thinking about this, wondering about this leap of faith, considering this leap of faith to maybe uh, revisit uh, that part of your life um, because it is different now and it seems like they're on the same page that you were on before. You understand what I'm saying? So maybe you or them uh, come out of this hermit mode and say, you know what, let's be happy. I don't want to fight either. You understand what I'm saying? The problem is, is that uh, somebody is not listening to their inner voice. Somebody is not listening to their inner voice because... There is lack of movement, there is lack of emotion, there is lack of promise. So, maybe there's a cross signal. You understand? Maybe what somebody assumes, they, they you're saying kudos to you, I'm glad you're doing better. You know, uh, again, now I'm going to separate the groups. Somebody, Some of you are saying kudos to you, I'm glad you're doing better. Uh, you know, uh, I'm doing great too. You know, I've moved on, you've moved on. But they might mistake that as, a, a, you know, a, a window of opportunity and try to pursue. So you, you're like, ah, I don't think so. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're still not ready. Others of you, you do revisit. But when you revisit, they turn on you as if to say, like, I didn't, I didn't mean that I want you back. I was just glad to see that you were doing well. I wanted you to know I was doing well. I actually wanted you to know that, you know, uh, I'm sorry for the things I did to you. But this apology is not an offer. It's simply what it is, an apology. You understand what I'm saying? Bear with me, Sag. Bear with me. Don't curse me, y'all. Don't curse me. Sacred Chakra, tell me more, please. Sagittarius, yes. You know what you want. Yeah, you know what you want. You know what you want. You know what you want. God darn it. You want the commitment. You want the forever. You want the happiness. You want the matrimony. You know what you want. Four of Wands, please. Sacred Chakra. Four of Wands. Four of Wands, please. Wow. So how can it be so damn hard? Why is it so hard all the time? Why is the Ten of Swords here from Sagittarius? Chariot energy, Cancer energy, um, moving too fast maybe. Because the chariot is forward movement and the chariot has no brakes. There's no straps on that lion. You understand? This is a spirit guided chariot. Uh, it moves to where it needs to be, period. Okay? Uh, tell me more about this chariot. Tell me more. It's for Sagittarius. Thank you. Yeah. Discontentment, unsatisfied. Almost as if you know what you want, or they know what uh, you know what you want. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Goodness gracious. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Let me get some water. Hold on. And shut up. It ain't no damn corona. God forbid. Oh. Goodness gracious. Okay. Ooh, I'm back. Um, somebody knows what they want. Uh, you know, either you or them. But they know that it's going to be a, a burden. Maybe because things happen too fast. Or you changed your mind. That's what I was saying before about this undermining energy with the person that gives you the, the apology or 
you know, or just, you know, run into you and say, you know, hey, you looking good. They're not offering. They're saying, you know, like, you know. You know, almost as if you take somebody back and change your mind or they take you back and change their mind. They realize that that's, that, you know, you realize somebody realizes that this wasn't what they what you wanted. You basically met for a closure, not for a restart. You understand? I hope that makes sense. Heartache and loss, future energy for Sagittarius. Thank you. High Priestess again. Now the intuition picks back up. Okay. Tell me about the high priestess. Damn. Justice. The fool again. King of swords. Yeah, you're going to talk about it. Yep, 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 yep. Now, so, after all this confusion and somebody um, gets on this, real, somebody realizes that this purpose of the purpose of this revisit wasn't for us to reconnect. It was basically to close out this cycle. Um, their intuition is going to pick in yours or theirs. Okay. Because, uh, you know, you're going to feel bad or somebody is going to feel bad because they're not going to want to just feel like I didn't want to lead you on. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think we, we need to talk about this because I'm on my own life's journey looking for, you know, my truth, my justice, my balance, you know, but it needed to be said to close this cycle. Justice had to be served. It had to. And you have uh, the fool for current and future energy. So you guys are moving into uncharted waters uncharted waters spirit protected all the way so enjoy the journey and definitely enjoy the journey and, and and embrace it embrace the newness of life that's coming towards you because you're moving into uh, newness of life things you've never done before things you've never seen before people you haven't been around before you, you understand what i'm saying I just want to touch on this fool. Tell me more about the fool energy. I have to because it came twice. Thank you. Look at that. Knight of Wands energy. It's coming in fast. A lot of passion. Tell me more about the fool energy. Can I have another one? Thank you. Queen of Cups. Emotion. Guys, I like this. I do. I like it. Um, not because it's perfect. But because uh, life is always changing, you, you know what I'm saying? And um, the fact that you're embracing this change, closing out old cycles and allowing, uh, emptying your cup to allow it to be filled with new. You know what I mean? How could that be a bad thing? How could that be a bad thing? Bottom of your deck. Yeah. Protecting yourself. Yeah, you know, I don't think you guys are going to revisit this. Uh, you, you might revisit, but you ain't staying. You ain't going to take your coat off. You coming in, but you ain't going to take your coat off. <laughs> Come on now, we got to laugh. Laugh, laugh, laugh. It is what it is. Yes, it's funny. Shit. You know, it's healing. This is healing. This process right here is healing. This entire read is healing. Is it frustrating? Yup. But so what? Nobody was promised for nothing to be easy. It is what it is. Sagittarius. Oh, hell no. We ain't doing all that. Oh, oh, oh. hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. We are, ah, we are not doing three damn books. Mm, rip the deck out my hand. Sagittarius, thank you so much. Sagittarius, for this read, please. Final messages for Sagittarius on this read. Final messages, please. Thank you for Sagittarius on this read. All right. All right, guys, we got a couple here. Let's see. We have Eat Your Effing Vegetables. Eat some ish made by Mother Nature. All right. 
it's dark and you can't see a effing thing. What you call him just had this? I think Leo. Get your head out of your ass, pronto. <laughs> Make better effing choices. I think Aries had this. If y'all pissed where you at, then stop taking yourself there. Guys, I'm telling you, you got fire signs are truly intertwined right now. Um, so if you have a fire sign that is close to you, um, a friend or family member that you share things with, uh, then converse with them because you can help each other because you guys are really sharing a lot of the same energy as far as, you know, the, the different stages of your path right now. Okay. And Sag, I know you guys are secret squirrels, so I'm asking a lot of you right now. Um, but believe me, sometimes, you know, another opinion will either validate or give you the perspective that you were looking for with that full energy that you were coming from. You know what I mean? Okay. If they've resonated, please like, share, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. Um, if it doesn't resonate, guys, check your moon and rising, but don't take this energy with you. Okay. Leave it here for someone else. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.